sur la chaîne. Je m'appelle Emmanuel et je suis le professeur de cette chaîne. Parlons français. Aujourd'hui, nous allons continuer notre leçon sur les articles définis. Today we are going to continue with our definite article, our lesson on definite articles. So, we said last that the masculine definite article is le and the L apostrophe. Then the feminine is la and the L apostrophe. What the masculine and the feminine have in common is the L apostrophe and the plural definite article which is le. Right. So today I'm going to go through with you with a number of nouns. Right. So I'm going to start with the masculine singular then I will accompany it with the plural noun. Le garçon. Le garçon. Le visage. Le visage. Le cahier. Le cahier. Le père. Le père. Le stylo. Le stylo. Le cousin. Le cousin. Le français. Le français. So here we can see that le français and le français have the same spelling. This is because français is already ending in S. So when we use le français, we cannot add another S to the S. So that's the main reason why le français, the français in le français and le français are having the same spelling. Right, so don't be confused. The next one is le crayon. Le crayon. Le professeur. Le professeur. L'arbre. Les arbres. L'élève. Les élèves. So this shows that the apostrophe is being used here as a masculine. Once it is preceding a masculine noun. Le chien. Les chiens. L'enfant. Les enfants. Alright, so as you watch our video, we entreat you to kindly click on the subscription button to subscribe to the channel. Let's speak French. Parlons français. Right, so now we are going to the feminine. We are going to the feminine. Feminine. The feminine we have la mère, les mères, la tante, les tantes, la fille, les filles, l'élève, les élèves, l'enfant, les enfants, la règle, les règles. La gomme, les gommes, la carte, les cartes, la porte, les portes, la table, les tables, la chaise, les chaises, la fenêtre. Les fenêtres. Les fenêtres. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson on the pronunciation of words that are preceded by the definite articles le, la, le, and an L apostrophe. What I want you to remember is that any aspect of the definite article le, la, L apostrophe then le simply means the in English it simply means the in English so that is what I want you to keep in mind this is Palon Francais 
Je m'appelle Emmanuel, votre professeur de cette chaîne. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like, share video for others who want to learn French. The easiest way to also learn French. I always say just relax and learn French. You are learning French under no pressure. Hope to hear from you. Hope to see you once again. Now let's next lesson. Next time you are going to learn the indefinite articles in French. So kindly stay tuned and click on the notification bell to get to be the first person to get that lesson and share as well. Thank you. In French you say merci beaucoup. Au revoir. On se verra à bientôt. Bye.